What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. The book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father, Amazon Kindle Create Space. Uh, the links will be in the description box below, as usual. Let's get it. Why, when, and why black men start dating out? So, people are talking about Diddy dating an Australian model. And we use these celebrities and you talk about, um, you know, Jeezy, um, Lil Wayne, some of the 50 Cent. I don't know how they throw Dr. Dre wife in there. I think, you know, whatever. But I can see she looks uh, mixed. So I get what they're saying, but that's still on the black side. I, you know, you still you, you can't one drop rule when it's convenient, right? You know, I'm still saying, if y'all still saying Meghan Markle black, his wife black. But what happens is you hear these, these things when these guys dating out of the community. Like, this is what they do. Well, that's not true. Because what you're seeing is, which is normal for us, is guys who have been in multiple relationships with different black women. And they reach a certain age and they just get tired of trying. So they, they decide to try with something else. It's not like um, uh, these guys are like, they waking up like, oh, I just want something different. Like, I do know of black men who are like that, who, you know, um, if, if she's white, it makes her spectacular off the bat. Like, I know guys like that, but they're the minority of the minority of the black men that I know. You know what I'm saying? I could only think of three off the top of my head that I've met in life. You know, but that's just, like I said, I know guys, but like I said, three in life. So, but the other guys who date out, they've been married or they have kid, a kid or kids with black women, whether it's multiple kids with one or, or a kid with two, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, they spent years and years dating black women. And basically what winds up happening is they got tired. And, they, and it wasn't that they were looking for another race. They were looking for peace. And when they started dating out, it was easier to find peace. You know, and people were like, you know, what are you talking about? Well, I was looking at a Diary of a Tired Black Man like two days ago. And it's funny how the things that were in that are still prevalent right now. And you can still see the remnants of it now. Where you have some women who are angry and they assume that, you know, if I'm angry, you got to be with me because I'm angry. Guys are like, no, I don't. You know, so <clears throat> that becomes a problem because these guys are tired of dealing with angry women. You know, um, also, you got to take into consideration that How can I put this? You get tired of the rhetoric. You know, you get tired of y'all are no good. You get and and you get tired of social media with even black women you're not even you might know but you're not dating. Even they have their moments where they post something on social media that's anti black male. Like I would never this, I would never that, and men of this and men of that and la da da. And after a while, you're like, you know what? I don't want to be around somebody that talks negatively of men all day. Not all day, but I'm just saying, who has the propensity to talk negative about men? And what winds up happening is these guys are dating other women because these other women are, you know, are nicer to them in public places. So that's how it's, that's, you know, when it starts and that's why it starts. Because I'm not, I'm not about to say that you know, uh, non-black women don't have their issues with black men, or they don't have their issues in their own group with black men. Also, they don't, they, I'm not gonna say that they don't have the issues with race and this, that, and the third, because they do, you know. But they understand men better than sisters do, in general, because when you think of <clears throat> when you think of uh, non-black women, they actually have a propensity 
to to date around outside of their group. I think it gets it gets taboo when they get to black men. I it, you wouldn't be surprised, you know, if a white woman dates a Hispanic man, an Asian man, or you know, an Asian man dates a white woman, or a Middle Eastern woman, or even a black woman. You know what I'm saying? But the women, they, the women do that. The Asian women date white guys and other um, and Hispanic guys. You know, they do that. Is when they start dating black guys, like, oh wow. But so they have a better grasp on men in general because they actually do date out. Uh, you know, do they marry out like that? No, not really. Asian women, I think, marry out the highest. I think it's like forty percent of Asian women marry outside of their race. But what it is is they kind of have a have a baseline for what what men are across the board. They they, they don't have to put somebody on this pedestal. You know what I'm saying? And I think um, the guys get tired of it because dealing with people who are not content and not satisfied becomes trying. And I think, you know, I think white men deal with the same thing with white women. I think Hispanic men deal with the same thing with Hispanic women. I think what winds up happening is people's uh, dating um, American dating culture is a culture of trying to get as much as you can for as little as you can, and you wind up getting turned off by the person that does it to you the most. So guess what? Guys get tired of it, and I know people are gonna have a well. What about women get tired of being used? It's I get what you're saying, but then I don't get what you're saying because you can't say sex is empowering you and then say you're getting used sexually because you want to take control of your sexuality and you can do whatever you want with your sexuality and now all of a sudden because you've had sex with numerous men, you mad at men. That does that I that, that logic doesn't make sense, you know, and that becomes a problem. And the other thing about, you know, when and why black men date out is some guys are not wanted. You know, some guys are not, are not wanted. They, they approach sisters and sisters not feeling them, so they start approaching other people. And then they find relationships that way, right? And then other guys are, you know, late bloomers in a sense, and nobody probably wants them. But when they start growing into the man that they want to ultimately becoming, then everybody wants them. And now it's like he makes everybody compete. And the best woman is who he's going to choose, you know, no matter what that is. And then you got guys who, you know, uh, have the, the means to go, other, to go other places and be around other people, and they like, you know, women of different areas, the the exotic thing that they're talking about. Like, you know, <laughs> you go to another country, everybody looks brand new. Like, you, you're exotic to the, to, to the local people, and the foreigners are exotic to you. It's something new. So that's one, one of the other reasons why people, you know, date out. <clears throat> and then, ultimately, you know, you come to find that you get you, you you meet other women who treat men better. You know they come from cultures that treat men better. So ultimately, you get guys who who like as they get older, they didn't realize oh this person actually treats me better than I've been treated in the past, and you want to keep continue that treatment. So guess what you do? You keep dating that. And then what you wind up having is a bunch of people who are upset that you don't go date them again, but they're not going to match the level of treatment or they're not going to match the level of femininity or they're not going to match the level of, of, of um, catering to a man as the woman that you're meeting outside of your race. So you're going to be like, hey, look, I'm not coming. It's me, Frankie. I ain't coming home no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's one of those things. So... I'm done with this one. Like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.